It's a new day in Windhelm. The storm cloaks are gone, and so is their prejudice. You have no idea. Did you know it was his decree that forbade the Argonians from living inside the city walls? I hope in his next life he's reborn as an Argonian forced to live in a slum because of some bigoted Nord dictator. I'm joking, of course, but I'm a lot happier seeing the Empire running things in Windhelm. When Ulfric was killed, justice was done. That might sound harsh, but it's how I feel. Yes, markedly so. Ulfric and his Stormcloaks made no secret of their disdain for the Dark Elves. In fact, they didn't seem to care much for anyone who wasn't a Nord. The folk of the Empire have always had a more cosmopolitan view of the world. So I'm glad to see them in charge. Yes, that's right. Whether or not I'm interested... In some ways, yes. But there is often opportunity in chaos. When a new government takes charge, records can be lost, taxes can be forgotten, and laws aren't always enforced. The new guards are often too busy learning their responsibilities to notice a few smuggled goods or minor robberies. Not that I'd ever get involved in any of those kinds of things, of course. You made the most amazing weeks. Well, not yet. The Empire hasn't been in charge for that long. Real change takes time. She was so Still, having a just and so honorable proud. man like Brunwolf in charge can only so be an improvement. Unlike Ulfric, Brunwolf has shown a great willingness to work with the other races and make us feel You've more at home more than here. Enough already. For the first time in a, a long while, I truly believe that there are brighter days that. ahead. I'm sorry I lost... Ulfric was a true hero of Skyrim. He will be missed. I have a little Ooh, of everything you. To say. Every time I look at you, my blood boils. One should never pay too much attention to rumors told. I make no secret of it. I don't care if the Empire controls the city or not. I won't hide my loyalty to the dream of a free Skyrim. Ulfric fought for that dream with more courage and honor than any Nord who ever lived. But now he's gone. And the dream is gone with him. But I'll be ready when a new leader takes up the cause. As sure as ice is cold and stone is hard, I'll be ready. I almost didn't. I wasn't sure I could stomach having some Imperial tell me how to live my life. I was ready to pack my things when Hermir came to me. She wanted to make sure I'd finished teaching her the smithing trade. That girl's determination won me over. I suppose it didn't hurt that she said she only wanted to learn from the best smith in Skyrim. I couldn't let her run off to that pretender, Yorlin Greymane, could I? Aye, that I do. I ain't saying he was perfect, but he knew what it meant to be a Nord. The Empire's always taken us for granted. Nords died by the thousands in the Great War. And what did the Empire do? They outlawed the worship of Talos, Skyrim's most beloved son. Huh, there's thanks for you. I guess what I'm saying is, Ulfric stood up for us, and for all Skyrim. So who's gonna stand up for us now? Serving a steward to Ulfric Stormcloak was a great honor, but I don't miss his temper. I don't like talking to someone who holds their honor so cheaply. I don't care that we lost. I'm just glad the war is over. Ulfric Stormcloak was a true hero of Skyrim. He stood up to the Thalmor and refused to turn his back on Talos. I don't care what the Imperials say. When Ulfric Stormcloak died, one of Skyrim's greatest heroes was lost. Now at last, the Thalmor will get their way. The worship of Talos will finally be stamped out. Or so they think. Those true sons and daughters of Skyrim will never cease to worship mighty Talos. If we cannot do so in our temples, we will do so in our hearts. Oblivion, take the Thalmor. I'll never give up Talos, not even if it means my life. Let them come and make me a martyr. With Ulfric dead and the Stormcloaks gone, 
Who will have the courage to champion the cause of Talos? I've spent my life serving Talos. I don't plan to stop now, no matter what the Empire says. Talos created the Empire. You'd think they'd show him more respect. Someday all of Skyrim will worship Talos openly, as we do here. Being in exile is the most humiliating thing I've experienced in my life. I killed scores of the Empire's men before I was forced to surrender. The only reason I stopped fighting was a plea from Layla. Otherwise, I would have fought to the death. Need something? I hope the Wilds claim you one of these days. I'm afraid my days as the steward of Riften has come to an end. The Imperials now control Riften, and have placed Maven Blackbriar on the Jarl's throne. Perhaps the Stormcloaks might rally to take back Riften one day. Only time will tell. In honor of your service in battle, I am hereby granting you permission to purchase property in Riften. Talk to my steward if you're interested. The throne suits me, don't you think? My title is just a formality. I've always been in charge around here. Jarl Maven Blackbriar has a pleasant sound to it, wouldn't you say? In honor of your service in battle, I am hereby granting you permission to purchase property in Windhelm. Talk to my steward if you're interested. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Every day is a struggle. But a Nord doesn't back down from a fight when the cause is honorable. I just wish things were simpler. In my days as a soldier, I knew who the enemy was, and how to defeat him. Unfortunately, a sword can't repair damaged buildings, feed hungry people, or undo years of prejudice. I've taken the first steps toward doing so already. I met with several of the Dark Elves to discuss improvements in the Grey Quarter. But we have no real plans as of yet. First, we'll need to refill our coffers and stockpile stone and wood. The war took a heavy toll on Windhelm's resources. But I swore an oath to our Dunmer friends that for as long as I sit on the throne of Windhelm, their needs will not be ignored. I'd like to, but it's not as simple as that. Most of the folk in the city believe, as Alfred did, that outsiders should not be trusted. Until those people learn to accept the Argonians, they must remain outside, for their own safety. Old habits don't die easily, and we Nords can be as stubborn as stone. I wish I could say that it was, but it's not that simple. Many Stormcloaks will fight until they die, because they still believe they're fighting for Skyrim's freedom. But without Ulfric, the movement will wither and die. It's only a matter of time. I feel so helpless out here. The people of Riften depended on me, and I failed them. You have something to say, dog? Something on your mind? Unmid and Anuriel shouldn't blame themselves for Riften's fall. I am the one who's ultimately responsible. If Riften can be retaken, I will redouble my efforts to ensure the safety of my subjects and the defense of the Rift. Jarl Skald is upset over the loss of Dawnstar. I'll admit, it's less I have to worry about. I don't about. like talking to someone who holds their honor so cheaply. The Jarl is... tired. Be mindful of that. I should bash your face in after all you've done. You should leave. Skald gets upset around Imperials. The fiercest of the remaining rebels will continue to harass us, but by and large the people here desire peace. What I'm not so sure about is the peace we've made with the Thalmor. 
But we'll keep that between the two of us, all right? There are those who still call themselves Stormcloaks, who continue to fight us and bring misery to the people. But they are few in number. The ordinary citizen will be happy to get back to life as normal, to have their families return home. And they should enjoy it while they can. I suspect all of Tamriel will again be called to arms in the not-too-distant future. Turns out who runs Venterhold doesn't change much. Can't say I'm surprised. That's the real question, isn't it? No one can deny Elisif has a legitimate claim to become High Queen of Skyrim. But we must have the support of the other Jarls for that claim to have any meaning. Should they accept her rule, we will have peace. I was one of the best soldiers in the Stormcloak army until I took a sword to the chest. Thank you.